Hello students, let's talk about different phenomena which is related to the transport uh, in the cell and which is related to diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport, plant water relations, what is imbibition, water potential, osmosis and plasmolysis. These phenomena phenomena are some way are related to each other and which is uh, based upon a very fundamental concept of the movement of uh, you know different type of molecules as well as the water in the cell to cell interaction. So you see that how cell to cell interaction takes place when it comes to the plant uh, uh, primarily uh, uh, cell to cell uh, transportation and the general basis of transportation in the case of the plant uh, it may be with the help of a passive transport and diffusion is one of the passive transport. So diffusion is one of the uh, fundamental uh, aspect uh, of the transportation of uh, different molecules uh, on the basis of their concentration gradient. So you see diffusion is uh, necessarily based upon the concentration gradient which is uh, between the two different areas let's say A and B. Suppose this is a cell A and this is a cell B and if the uh, certain water molecule is there or certain solid molecule is there based upon that concentration of uh, uh, this solution present in A, A may be different from this concentration of solution present in the B. So because of this differential solute concentration uh, this diffusion will happen either from direction A to B or B to A on the basis of the higher concentration to the lower concentration. So you see higher concentration is suppose it is here and the lower concentration of particular solid is here the water will uh, you know move from this particular direction to this particular direction uh, because it is uh, it makes this particular entire solution. So now diffusion is completely uh, a slow process and it is based upon the concentration gradient that means it will move from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. Uh, the basic uh, event of diffusion which is uh, takes place in the uh, in the gaseous mode and uh, during the aqueous condition also and uh, uh, in the case of cell you see the diffusion is uh, happens uh, all the time and uh, water is getting diffused from the higher concentration to the lower concentration area now if the diffusion happens in the presence of cell membrane where certain protein molecule is present if it has been facilitated by certain protein molecule present in the plasma membrane that type of diffusion is called as a facilitated diffusion so it will be a facilitated diffusion diffusion is facilitated you see by this uh, transmembrane protein present in the plasma membrane so suppose a particular molecule a is uh, the diffusion of a is facilitated according to its uh, concentration gradient that means high concentration of A is present here and it cannot diffuse directly to the uh, other cell compartment. Uh, so proteins, uh, the, the integral membrane protein facilitates this uh, movement of A to the other cell area and this type of diffusion is called as facilitated diffusion. So if simply if it is happened uh, in a unidirection this type of uh, this type of uh, transport is called as uniport. The single molecule is uh, moving from this direction to that particular direction in a single direction. If sometimes the two molecules are moving A and B through this transmembrane protein and in a single direction in the same direction based upon their concentration gradient such type of transport is called Symport. Symport, which is a kind of uh, facilitated diffusion and if it is moving into uh, another direction, opposite direction, you see if it is moving to the opposite direction that means A movement of A is uh, from this direction to this direction and movement of B is from opposite direction such type of uh, facilitated diffusion is called as antiport. So you see that without utilization of energy a particular molecule can be transported from one direction to another direction or from one cell compartment to the another cell compartment 
with the help of the transmembrane protein which is present in the plasma membrane so that is the idea of facilitated diffusion now if uh, the transport or the transportation is happening uh, uh, by utilization of certain kind of energy that is called as active transport active transport you see transportation of sodium and potassium ion across the cell membrane with the help of a uh, uh, integral membrane which is present in the plasma membrane so the movement is happening uh, from one cell to the another cell with the help of the protein molecule either into uh, a certain direction or the opposite direction with the help of energy that type of transport called as active transport that happens in uh, different type of cases uh, when the energy is uh, required to move uh, that particular uh, ions or the mineral ions from one cell to the another cell with the help of the transmembrane protein. So, when you talk about this uh, water, you see uh, water is uh, water is carrying certain kind of uh, potential energy because depending upon uh, where it is present and in what what quantity it is present. So generally, uh, if the water is present at a certain uh, place, uh, which is having certain kind of height, it will have a certain kind of potential energy. And when it will be moved from one direction to the another direction, it will, uh, the potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy because it is moving from one cell to the another cell or from one position to the another position. Now, uh, the water potential of water potential is important to important for uh, the uh, plant water relationship or uh, 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 when plant is utilizing the water uh, for a particular area and it wants to utilize the water that particular water to the another area you know that helps and that happens because of uh, the water potential you see that the pure water is considered to have uh, the maximum water potential and when the certain amount of the solute or the uh, or the inorganic ions is dissolved in that particular water then the uh, uh, water potential is getting reduced so by and large water potential can be characterized as psi s and this water uh, this potential of that particular water is depending upon what type of solid solute is uh, uh, dissolved here so that becomes a solute potential and what kind of pressure is applied for that particular that particular water so water potential is equals to solid potential plus pressure potential that you can say that that is formulated with the help of this particular formula so you see that the more amount of solid is dissolved and because of that this uh, solid potential is always into the negative form because uh, you see the concentration of the solid is getting more because of that the water potential will be getting reduced because the less amount of water that will be present in the pure format and the pressure is since it has been uh, more on that particular water so pressure potential is always considered into the negative positive form so this will be a positive this will be a negative and the overall uh, uh, water potential uh, will be decided by uh, whether the pressure potential is more than the solid potential or it is less than the solid potential if it is lesser than the solid potential then definitely the overall water potential will be negative in uh, will be in negative uh, and uh, vice versa you see why water potential is important for the plant because uh, uh, the water has to reach from root to the different portion or the different areas of the plant. So in order to achieve uh, this uh, holistic transportation process, the water should travel from uh, one uh, travel uh, to a certain direction which should be based upon uh, their uh, water potential. Where the water potential will be more, uh, that water will definitely 
move from this particular area to the another area where water potential is less. So that is the very important significance for the water potential as far as the transportation of water in the, uh, in the xylem is concerned in the case of plant. So if you see that uh, a very special type of diffusion uh, is, uh, uh, is understood in the form of imbibation. imbibation. Imbibition is a special type of diffusion where certain solid part or the colloid material uh, is uh, absorbing the water or the water is basically diffused from the higher concentration to the lower concentration with the help of the solid material or certain kind of colloid material. So the best example of imbibition is you see uh, when water is absorbed by the seed. Because seed has a very small uh, you know, pore in the uh, form of the hilum and when it started absorbing the water from the ground uh, because you see this, it has been absorbed by that solid material that is why it is called as imbibition. So imbibition is a very special type of uh, diffusion. Imbibition also happens by uh, uh, the wood, uh, woods which is that can absorb the water. Uh, for certain purposes, you know, during certain season. So, that is also an example of imbibition. You see, osmosis. Osmosis is, is a type of, uh, diff uh, it is basically type of uh, diffusion of water across the certain kind of membrane. Suppose, if there is two areas A and B, which is uh, different, demarcated by uh, a selectively permeable membrane or certain kind of selective membrane and when the movement of water is taking place from the, uh, A to B or B to A that type of movement is called as osmosis. So, osmosis is completely based upon uh, the uh, based upon this concentration gradient but across this selectively permeable membrane that allows the particular water molecule to move from one direction to another direction. You see that there is a phenomena called as plasmolysis. Plasmolysis is phenomena through which a cell which is uh, uh, whose water is getting you know uh, is uh, moved from their cell sap to the another direction. So when an uh, when, when it happens to this particular cell, the cell is uh, getting shrinked. So, shrinking, shrinking happens. This phenomena is called as plasmolysis. Plasmolysis condition can also happen in uh, the plant cell where uh, there is a certain transport of water takes place from uh, uh, the cell, a particular uh, cell to the another area or the another cell and uh, the reduction of the completely uh, cell sap happens and there is a shrinkage of uh, protoplasm and because of that the cell is completely shrink. So that activity is called as plasmolysis. So that is about all about these phenomena which are very important for the uh, transportation of plant, transportation of water in the plant. Thank you.